Sunscreen is by far one of the most important products in your skincare routine, but for people with medium to dark skin tones, it can be the most difficult one to find. On this episode of Sunscreen for Dark Skin, we are putting the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Moisture Air Fit Daily Sunscreen SPF 50 Plus PA++++ to the test to see if it's black girl approved. If you missed the last episode, I will have it linked in the cards above. Make sure that you're subscribed and click the notification bell so you get notified every time you put another sunscreen in the hot seat. Without further ado, let's get started. Today's video is made in collaboration with Haru Haru Wonder, however, my thoughts and opinions are always fine. As I'm rating this sunscreen, I'm keeping 10 qualities in mind and then we're going to give it an overall rating out of 10. The product claims to be a lightweight, hydrating, high protection chemical sunscreen that leaves no cast on the skin and is suitable for all skin types. It says it gives a velvet finish with a very high protection for daily life. It's enriched with black rice extract, it's abundant in hyaluronic acid, and it forms a protective barrier to retain moisture effectively. Let's talk a little bit about the brand. Haru Haru Wonder is a female Korean founded brand. They are committed to being vegan and not tested on animals or even incorporating any, any ingredients derived from animals, which we love. They maintain the skin's natural pH levels. They're developed with UDT, which is called ultra deep technology that allows the product to absorb so quickly and so deeply into the skin. They refer to themselves as a clean brand, which as we know, there really is no global standard of what all natural means or clean means. So from what I gather, they have plant powder formulas. They are made with innovative fermented ingredients, specifically the black rice, which is a powerful antioxidant. They emit known toxins and they strive for sustainability. That's something that truly speaks to me as a little beauty nerd. I'm always looking for like really interesting ingredients that are added into products that make them feel amazing on your skin, but they don't cost the environment. They have a focus on getting the highest grade and quality of raw materials, which is pretty pricey to do, but because their products are made in-house with their own labs, that allows them to save on production costs. So this is how they maintain their lower prices. Overall, I do really enjoy what this brand has to offer. I don't really have any complaints about it other than the whole clean beauty thing, which they did give their own definition of. And I really do support what they have been committed to doing, so the brand gets a point for me. Let's talk about the packaging. The product comes in a sleek matte tube. The brightness is a little bright right now, but um, I love when brands package their sunscreens like this because you can just go ahead and cut it with some scissors to get every last drop. They also come with a pump. This is a pretty big pump. Like it's, it's thick, like she thick. It makes it so easy to use. Like if they're smaller pumps, sometimes it's just really difficult to continue doing this, but because it's so smooth, it's so big, it allows you to use it with ease. And it's a very airless type of packaging, so this prevents any types of oxidization, so you can keep this for as long as possible. The packaging is made with 100% recycled material, which is certified by the Forest Management Council, and it's printed with eco-friendly sewing ink. It's simple, it's effective, and I love it. So this is going to be getting another point from me. Let's talk about price and quantity. You can find this product on various sites, from the Haru Haru Wonder website themselves, to Yes Style, to Style Korean, and they all have a little bit of variation in the pricing. From what I gathered, it's about $30 Canadian for 50 milliliters. 50 milliliters is the standard when it comes to sunscreens, so that's pretty average. And $30 once again, it's pretty average based on the sunscreens that I've reviewed thus far. As always, we're gonna use our daily cost average. This is how much product you're getting, how much you're using, and how much it costs you every time you put it on your face. Let's do some math. So you're getting 1.69 fluid ounces, and you're applying two finger lengths worth of product, so this is equal to 42 days. $30 divided by 42 days is equal to 71 cents every time you use this product. 50 milliliters, as I said before, is the standard size for sunscreens. And with the price being $30 for an overseas sunscreen, I would say that this is like a, a high mid range of a drugstore product. So I do think it's a reasonable price. With the packaging being so minimalist and simple, you know that the actual focus is on the quality of the ingredients and the formulation. So I do think it's a fair price for the value that you're getting with this. So I'm gonna be giving this a 0.8. Let's talk about the ingredients, my favorite part. 
As I mentioned before, this product gives you SPF 50 plus, which is 98% of UVB, B for burning protection. It also comes at PA plus 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 plus, which gives you 90% protection for UVA. So this is aging. Both offer extremely high protection, so we love that. Listen, I'm not a cosmetic scientist. I just like to do my research. So I use Cause DNA in C Decoder to get the list of ingredients and just compare them to make sure I'm reading the right thing. So I do have them here on the screen that shows you exactly what is the UVA and what is the UVB. So I believe that both of them are balanced. Some of their highlight ingredients are the fermented black rice that we talked about before. Now, if you don't know what antioxidants are, they are basically ingredients that help to eliminate free radicals. So free radicals are little particles, they basically contribute to the deterioration of our skin cells. And this is exactly what gives us the early signs of aging on our skin. With this being such a powerful antioxidant, it's going to scavenge all of those and get rid of those free radicals to prevent that aging. In general, I am super intrigued by fermented products. Like it's really something I've been looking at right now. It's taking an already amazing ingredient and just multiplying its benefits for your body, making it like a powerful dose of antioxidants. If I didn't mention before, it's also alcohol free. And looking at the ingredients, it does have a good mix of hydrating and moisturizing ingredients, such as hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, pentylene glycol, daisy, chickweed, and sunflower extract, moringa seed and rice oil, cetary alcohol, which we know is a really good fatty acid, and of course ceramides that are going to help to rebuild your skin barriers. So as you're wearing this product, not only are you getting the SPF protection, you're getting all of the beautiful antioxidants, moisturizing ingredients that we mentioned before. For their ingredients, I'm going to be giving this a point as well. Application. Now the product itself has a really rich but whipped buttery smooth texture. When you apply this on your skin, honestly, it applies like a dream. It blends into your skin so easily and it doesn't leave you feeling heavy. But right here in Edmonton, we've already had our first snowfall. It is freezing outside, which means we've already jumped into winter season. So I really need something that moisturizes my skin. And I don't like a greasy finish because I have combination skin. So I don't want oil, but I also want something really thick and moisturizing. And this is like the best of both worlds. I've used this product for about two and a half weeks at this point, and I haven't noticed any irritation on my sensitive acne prone skin. I also haven't noticed any blemishes for on my skin from this product and that's because I'm removing it properly. You always want to make sure that you remove your sunscreen with an oil cleanser. This will make sure that the richness of the sunscreen and the natural sebaceous oils from your skin get dissolved fully and don't have time to clog your pores. I'm currently using the Black Rice Moisture Dupe Cleansing Oil also from Haru Haru. It's very lightweight and it's on the thinner side which I enjoy because it smooths over the skin so easily. It really reminds me of a massage oil as it turns your cleansing experience into an outright spa experience. With water, it emulsifies into a milky consistency, which makes it so easy to wash off with no sticky residue. I've also been using the Black Rice Moisture 5.5 Cleansing Gel. It has a very bouncy jelly texture that turns into this velvety lather that is so gentle on the skin. It's perfect for all skin types and it leaves my face feeling so smooth. Hydration really solves the majority of your skin problems and it's really been doing wonders for my skin. For the application, we're going to be giving this a point. The finish. I'm wearing it under my makeup today as well, and I really find it gives you a beautiful, healthy, skin-like finish. It's more on the matte side, but it's not a matte product. As I said before, I have combination skin, which in the winter leans more on the dry side. I wear the sunscreen comfortably without using a moisturizer underneath, and that is because I prep my skin. To prep my skin, I usually layer a toner about two to three times before going into anything else on top. And this is what helps to keep that hydration and that bounce. So the moisturizer or your sunscreen just glides on top and it's able to lock in that hydration. I'm currently using the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Toner, which I've talked about multiple times on this channel. This is a lightweight, non-greasy hydrating toner. It absorbs quickly into the skin and leaves your skin feeling supple and bouncy. I layer this two to three times on my skin, letting the product absorb fully before applying the next layer and I don't even feel like I need to wear a moisturizer, just the SPF on top. The sunscreen in combination with this toner really gives your skin a very healthy glow and your skin just feels so supple afterwards. So for finish, we're going to be giving this a 0.9. Let's talk about reapplication. 
reapplying this product is super, super easy. Because of the way that it absorbs so quickly into your skin, you don't feel like there's any weird mixing of the dry product that's on your skin and the new cream that you're applying. So there's no pilling and it doesn't really feel like you're wearing very much at all. There's no tacky feeling. There's no stickiness. There's no greasiness. There's no tacky feeling. It just feels like skin. And if you let it dry down, like you're not going to feel anything on your skin at all, which I love. It wears beautifully under makeup and it dries down pretty quickly so you can apply your primer on top and get that grip for your foundation. Now I did go ahead and reapply this on top of my makeup to see if that would still work. So I applied this with a beauty blender and I was pleasantly surprised at how well it went on my skin. Although this product is rich, because it feels so light and velvety and it doesn't have a lot of oil to it, it doesn't really remove much of your makeup and you don't end up looking greasy. In this clip, I did not even powder my face at all. I just left it. So the way that my skin looks right now is with the sunscreen applied on top of my skin without any powder afterwards and it barely removed any of the foundation on my skin as you can obviously see white cast i'm pleased to say there is none whether you're applying this underneath your foundation or on top there is no white cast we love that so this category will be getting a point for me as well for fragrance there's no ingredient in their ingredient list that specifically says fragrance it also does not contain any essential oils which i love because those are really big irritants for your skin i don't mind having some fragrance in my products at this point i'm not a stickler anymore but i also really do like it not having fragrance for people with sensitive skin like myself. It is, however, unscented, which as we know, this could mean that there are ingredients put in here to mask the smell of some of their ingredients. I'm not a cosmetic chemist, but I haven't seen anything alarming or worth noting looking at the ingredients. But there is a very light scent to the product. Um, I think this is probably because of the extracts that are in here. I can't really pinpoint what it is. I do enjoy the scent of this product and it would be getting a 0.8 for me flashback i know you guys want to go out and take your photos so don't worry your photos will be safe because there's no flashback i took this photo after playing three layers of this sunscreen and there was zero flashback so that will be getting a point from me overall the Haru Haru wonder black rice moisture airy fit daily sunscreen spf 50 plus pa plus 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 <laughs> We'll be getting a 9.3 out of 10. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. Thank you once again to Haru Haru Wonder for making this video possible. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you've tried any of Haru Haru Wonder's black rice products before. If you'd be trying the sunscreen or any other sunscreens you would like to see reviewed in the future. Click over here to see some of my previous videos. Stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in the next video. Bye!